Oris Man Daily Challenge number 12. Hello everyone and welcome to Daily Challenge number 12. Let's get warmed up. Let's get those arms and legs moving. Today's challenge is going to be using a board game. And this is the board game we're going to use today. It's Fitness Scholastics by Sandy Spin Slade Incorporated. It's fantastic. I use it quite a lot in my school when we are able to do fitness activity. So let's get jogging on the spot and I'll tell you more about it later. So we need to warm up. We need to make sure that our area is clear of any dangers and that we have enough room to move. Get the knees and arms moving, jogging on the spot. We're going to do this for about two minutes. We want to make sure that we're fully warmed up so that we're ready for the game that we're going to play. I'm going to go for a little skip now. My favorite exercise is skipping, moving around, doing a figure of eight. This board game is fantastic. It gives you the opportunity to do different activities and work really well if you have a group as well. But for today, I'm going to be doing it for you and uh, you're going to be doing it with me. So, jumping jacks. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to smile. Very important. Jogging on the spot again. Spotty dogs. Making sure that we're doing light spotty dogs, not too hard. Just keep moving. Keep your body moving. We want to make sure that we keep ourselves in that zone so we can warm up properly. Warm up the body fully. Get slightly sweaty, out of breath. And get our heart pumping. All right. General warm-up is done. Let's move on to the specific warm-up. This is the Fitness Scholastics cards. I've split the screen so you can see each card that we're going to use today. There they are. Now, each of these cards is actually on the board game. And what we're going to do is, as a warm-up, we're going to do every single one of these skill cards, these spots on the board. So to start off with, we're going to go with number one. Now, number one, if we turn it over and we have a look, number one is knee push-ups. So, knee push-ups. We've done these before. Modified knee push-ups. Knees down on the ground. Lower your body down towards the, the ground and back up again. Let's look at it from a different angle. Staying under control at all times. Give it a go, everyone. You should be doing it with me. Number two on the board game is foot shuffle. Now you get into the crab position and then you pretend there's a line. You might have a line at home. I don't have a line. And you are off the ground. Your bum's off the ground and you are placing your foot over the line. Next one is monkey dance. So, opposite elbow, opposite knee. That's what you need to do. We're going to do it a little bit quicker. So while I'm doing this and I go and change the cards, I want you to carry on doing the monkey dance. Whatever I'm doing, that's what you continue until I tell you to do something differently. Partner clap. Now, if you don't have a partner, you can always use a wall. I'm going to use the air. I'm going to do an air high five. Okay. So I'm going to get into a push-up position, bring one hand up and do an air high five. As I said, if you want to do the wall, that's okay. So as you do this, I'm going to go and change in a moment the cards. You carry on doing the partner clap. Keep going. This is your warm-up. This is giving you the opportunity to do everything that's on the board. Flamingo stance. Nice, easy, one-footed balance. Holding that position. Now you'll see some numbers at the bottom. The numbers at the bottom represent easy, medium and hard. Easy's blue, medium's red, green is hard. This is piano keys. This is basically high knees. So basically you're playing the piano doing this. And I want you to continue doing this as I go and change the card in a moment. Continue piano keys. Come on, you can do it. Keep moving those piano keys. 
Next one is quick jumps. Have a go at quick jumps. Jumping side to side over a line. Pretend there's a line on the floor and jump over it. I pretend that I'm skiing down the uh, mountain, Austrian style, close knees. If you can do that, you're pretty awesome. Next one is seal walk, number eight. So the seal walk is push up position, but you gotta forget that you've got your feet and you wanna drag your feet along the ground. Now I'm on a carpet here, so it's not really helping my knees or my legs. So best way to do this is when you're on a shiny surface that you can drag yourself. Otherwise it's pretty difficult to do. Next activity is the spider dance. Now it's the same as the monkey dance, but instead of standing up, you're gonna be on all fours doing it. So let's have a look at that, see what it looks like. So that is the spider dance, or the monkey dance. The spider dance is doing it while on the ground. You're crunching your body in half as you do it. Alternate between elbow and knee. It's pretty difficult. Keep on going on the spider dance while I change the card. Next card is Twister. So the Twister is uh, you're going to just twist around, making sure that your, your feet are landing properly, doing a little twist. Nice and easy. Keep the Twister going until we change the card. Skipper. Skipper is doing a skip, but instead of doing it in a figure of eight, you do it on the spot. Don't need much space for this one. So let's have a look at it. And then when you go one way, why don't you go back the other way? Yeah. It's a different challenge. Keep skipping. Number 12, jumping jacks. Jumping jacks is quite normal for us. We know how to do these. Arms, legs, moving. You keep on moving. After I move, once I stop, you keep on moving. Keep jumping jacking. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Next, tornado. This one's a difficult one. I find it difficult. I don't have the space to jump properly. So it's doing a 360 degree turn. That means doing one full turn and landing back down the way that you are. I nearly did it there. It's very difficult. The most important thing is that when you land, you land softly and you try and land on both legs. We don't want you to twist your knee or hurt yourself. Tricep stretch or overhead stretch. This one is, uh, is a stretch, obviously. So a tricep stretch, arm over the back. Have a look, pulling down. You should feel it on the back of the upper arm. And the overhead stretch is nice and easy. You're relaxed and you're moving over. Don't push your head as you do that. Just relax your arm over. So imaginary jump rope. Back to that, so bouncing on the spot. You can make up any of the moves you want. I'm doing side to side there, whatever you want. Continue to jump rope. Ball twist exchange. This is also known as the Russian twist. I'm just gonna grab the die that's behind me here. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna balance on my bum, bring my legs slightly off the ground, and I'm just placing the ball one side or the other. Now, if you have a partner, they can throw you a ball as well and you can catch it. But as I'm on my own down in the basement, I'll be doing that just on my, my own there. So, next activity is the bobsled. Now, we might know this is the mountain climber as well. It's very similar. It's basically a mountain climber where you alternate your legs. You carry on doing the bobsled. Keep doing it until I change the card. Butterfly, this is where you cross over. This is, <laughs> this is actually like the monkey and it's like the spider, okay? You have, to bring your, you have to bring your, but you're laying on your back this time. You need to bring your arms and legs across your body. Very difficult. I find it very difficult. You probably find it really easy. Okay, can-can crab. You get into the crab position and then you flick one leg up and then the other. And it's very difficult to do. The higher you can get your leg, the better.
Next on the menu is a curl down. It's like a curl up, but instead of the emphasis being curling up, you're thinking about curling down. Here we go. Slowly down, slowly down. Ugh. And then you come back up quicker and you slow down as you come down. Okay. Have another go. Slowly down. Great job. Have a go at a few more of those. Just do a few more until we change. Bunny bounce. It's basically a skip, skip hop in between. So, here's my bunny bounce. What's up, Dak? Keep moving, keep moving. Keep doing the bunny bounces until we're changed up again. Okay, grasshopper. This one is where you touch the ground, clap, and then jump. But I'm going to do... I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm going to make it harder. I'm going to touch the ground, jump up, and clap. Touch the ground, jump up, and clap. But you can touch the ground, clap, and then jump up if you want. You do it your way. I don't mind. Hand shuffle. Same as the foot shuffle, but instead of the feet, you are using your hands. Push up position, reach across. Pretend there's an imaginary line there and you have to reach across. Staying as strong as you can all the way through the body. Number 24 is coming up. Helicopters. Rotate your arms three times. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. Keep going. Clap. 25, hip flexor. This is a stretch. Leaning forwards. Pushing your hips forwards like so. Making sure that you get a slight stretch on the inside of the thigh. Where the hip flexor comes through. I'll do it from the other angle. There you go. It's right there. And then underneath you could do a different stretch which is called a seated straddle. I want you to get into a straddle position. Lean over to one side. Lean over to the other side. You can hold it for 5 to 10 seconds. And the final card on the board is a partner pound and clap. Now if you don't have a partner like I don't, then what you do is you do it on your own and pretend there's one in front of you. So, 1, 2, 3, jump, clap. 1, 2, 3, high five. Okay, so now we have done every single challenge on the board. We're going to go over and I'm going to tell you how to play this board game now. So the way you play this board game is your beanbag starts on, on its start point. You roll the dice and then you move counterclockwise around the board. Whatever your beanbag lands on is what the exercise you need to do. So I would do the exercise and then I come back and roll the dice again or die again then I've moved three so now I do that exercise and so on so let's reset the board and let's get on with playing this game four four is grasshopper so let's have a go at the grasshopper we're going to do five one Two, three, four, five. Great job. Okay, let's go back. Let's roll the die. One. What do we get? We got the hand shuffle. Down on the ground. Let's go for it. Go across the line. Put your hand across the line. We're going to do that six times. We don't want too many ones, otherwise it's going to be a long day. Two. We have hip flexor stretch. Lean forwards, push the hips forwards. Feel it on the inside of the thigh, which is the upper leg. Change over to the other side. Hold it for five seconds. Okay, let's move on. That's four. And we're on 
the monkey dance. Let's do six of these. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's a silly one that, but it's a fun one. Six. Six brings us up to spider dance. So on all fours, I'm going to go for a harder challenge here. I'm doing it from my feet, but I'm going to drop down to my knees now because this is difficult. Across the body. Keep doing it. Keep moving. And we're done. Let's roll the dice. We're about halfway through. So what do we get? We got a five. So let's move along five. It's jumping jacks. Let's do some jumping jacks. Let's do 15. Good job out there. Keep it going. Keep moving. Great job. Roll the die. Three. One, two, three. We are on jump ropes. Imaginary jump ropes. Do whatever you want. Do crossovers. Pretend to do whatever you want. We're going to do 20. And we're done. Two. Bobsled. Let's do a bobsled. Do it from the side so you can see. Keep moving, keep moving, alternating those feet. Coming towards the end again, we need to get back to our start point. It's butterfly. This one I find hard. Reach across. It's really hard. Give it a go. Crossovers. Butterfly. And let's roll once more just to confirm we're over halfway. Great job, everyone. Superb job. Excellent stuff today. Walking on the spot. Give yourself a round of applause. Fantastic job. Move those arms as well. Marching, marching. You could even make your own board game up if you wanted to. Then challenge yourself a few more times. Great job today. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.